Hello everyone, we're here with Joe Spellin, our guest speaker, master sommelier for tonight's Vine and Dine event in the Everglades restaurant, where we are featuring the Justin and Landmark wines. So welcome Joe, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, it's a pleasure. So tell us about Justin and Landmark wineries and how you got started with them. Well of course, uh, I've worked as a sommelier for a long time in my career and uh, started working with imported wines after I got off the floor from Charlie Trotters in 1998 and uh, moved through a couple of other uh, representation opportunities, uh, one of which was Joseph Phelps for several years. And uh, at an event, I ran into Justin Baldwin, who I've known for a long time, uh, over 20 years. And uh, we were pouring wine next to each other at this tasting, and he uh, said, you know, Joe, it's really great what you do for Joseph Phelps. I'd love to have somebody like you work for me at Justin. And I said, I'll keep that in mind. If somebody comes up, I'll let you know. Well, about a month later, I was on the phone with Justin, and uh, we worked something out, and he brought me on at the end of 2007, and I've been with the winery now four and a half years, and uh, we are continuing to make wonderful red wines and passeroles and a few whites. Uh, and meantime, Justin Baldwin has uh, moved on in a different role as founder, and the winery was acquired by Fiji Water and its parent company, Roll International, uh, which is quite a broad agricultural company in California and has continued now in developing new vineyards in Paso Robles and has acquired yet another vineyard, which is Landmark Vineyards, and they're quite a great specialist in Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. So I've worked with them uh, both over the last year, uh, and I really find, feel that they're the, the optimum producers uh, of their style of wines in their zones, and I'm really proud to have these classic and iconic wines of these two regions of California, Paso Robles and Sonoma. Well, our guests are really going to enjoy those wines tonight. So what sparked your interest in wines and in becoming a sommelier? Well, uh, I don't think I thought about being a sommelier until I've been in the restaurant business for a while. But uh, when I started in the restaurant business, like everyone, you start kind of at the bottom. And I was a part-time bartender. And uh, in the first restaurant I worked in, which is long ago, uh, the owner was somewhat interested in wine and turned my interest in wine on a little bit too. So. From that point, I uh, took on the buying responsibilities at that restaurant and a couple of subsequent restaurants. And uh, I was kind of thrust into the role of sommelier by one of the owners I worked for in a formal restaurant called Maxime's in Chicago. And uh, he thought I knew enough about wine to get on the floor and talk about Burgundy and Alsace wine and uh, Great Bordeaux and, and thrive in, in that role. And I guess I did because I really enjoyed the table side uh, conversation about great wine, about food and wine pairing, uh, about sequencing wines, and this is going back now 27 years, so uh, it was a very different world then. I wore a tuxedo on the floor, it was a formal French restaurant, and uh, I think that style of, of restaurant is uh, fading these days, and we're looking at more fresh foods, more vibrant styles of wine, uh, more casual dining, less tablecloths, lots of light, uh, very enlightened uh, produce and, and you know, produce driven restaurants, chefs who are really great at marrying flavors in unorthodox ways and I think wine has to keep up with that so I still find it very exciting even though I'm not on the floor pouring wine at table side.